for be, before I even work with you, it is in your policy that you identify yourself you're as a police officer. Right. Yes, you're I am. I study right. law. Pretty much what you're doing is unlawfully detaining me right now. We're not detaining. Yes, it is. It, it is not lawful. You're the one breaking the law. You have to identify. Oh, yourself. I'm breaking the law, right? So I have to identify myself. You do realize that it's a secondary charge, right? We need your name. You do not need my name. Okay. I told you it was not Let's me, so leave me alone. That's how that works. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, San Joaquin Jr. On this channel, we discuss your constitutional rights and also go over videos of police interactions and audits that test the freedom of press in public. Today's video is from the channel Nico Waldron. This video takes place in Brighton, Colorado, and it involves the Brighton Police Department. More specifically, it involves Officer Bradshaw, badge number 2124, and Officer Ortiz, badge number 1814. On October 10th, 2022, these officers confronted Nico about a supposed disturbance call that their department received about a man who was yelling at people passing by. They got a vague description of the supposed man, but nothing really in detail. So rather than drive around and maybe look for the guy that was more accurate to their description, they confront Nico. Now, Nico is someone who is less fortunate than most, and as you can probably tell, doesn't exactly have three hots and a cot. What Nico does have is knowledge in his constitutional rights. And as you're going to see coming up, that's all he needs to get these cops off his back. Do you got any no, don't touch me. You're on camera. What's your name and badge number, first of all? Do you want my full name? I would like your name and badge number. Yes. My full name? Yes. It's Dylan Bashoff. And my badge number is 2124. 2124? What about yours, miss? What's up? What's your, what's your name and badge number? I'll tell you once you uncover your face. I I mean like you guys came up to me, confronted me. Okay. Yeah, we well, what's we'll your work, what's your name and badge we'll number work both before ways, okay? Before be, before I even work with you, it is in your policy that you identify yourself You're as a police officer. Right. Yes, You're I am. I study right. law. I'm not saying you don't, but my <laughs> name is Ortiz, right? I Ortiz, badge number 1814. Okay, thank you. Now, 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 now what, what are you guys looking for? All right, so we were obviously called out to the area, right? Someone said that there was someone in the area screaming, right? Okay. They described a male party with long hair in a box. Okay. You guys are two male parties. Somewhat longer hair, right? Longer yeah, hair than true. he does. So now we're contacting you guys, making sure that you guys are okay, right? Well, I'm that not you in guys the aren't box. loitering. I don't fit the and description now, other than long hair. That's the uh, and you're male. seems like a discrimination right there other than long well, hair. Well, that's what they called it in as. We didn't call it in. It is what it is. We're just I don't have a box. I don't have nothing. Your blanket kind of looks like a box. Like so, like right. I said, if you guys, if it's not you guys, that's fine. We'll get out of your hair. We it's need not your us. information, and that's it. We're it's, not here it, just it, to bug you. It's not us, and once when you discover that, you don't need my ID. Well, we can't confirm that because there's a camera there, so we now we have to investigate that camera, too. Okay, go check the camera, do your job, and come back, and well, if, if you're you not see here. anything about well, me, if, you're not here, buddy. if you see anything about me, you come talk to me. Yeah. If you're not here. Pretty much what you're doing is unlawfully detaining me right now. We're not detaining. Yes, it is. It, it is not lawful. You're the one breaking the Oh, I'm breaking the law, right? So I have to identify myself. You do realize that it's a secondary charge, right? A secondary charge? Yes, it is. I, 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 I have to be... I believe that I have, you might have been involved in a crime that was committed. And, and, and what, 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 what crime is that? loitering. You're on someone's property. I'm, I'm on, I'm on uh, city property. It's not public. City property that is right adjacent to a public property. Isn't that a little confusing, don't you think? You don't, you don't think I'm not gonna. Sign. You don't think I'm not gonna con convert. Uh, you don't think I'm not gonna take that to court and not do that. We're not even taking it to court. Right? That, that sign right says no loitering yeah, over here. It doesn't say anything right here. Why is he being so Because I'm a civil rights activist, miss. And I respect that. I'm an auditor too. 
I'm also not homeless. These officers are clearly here to mess with Nico. They explained the description of the man that they got, and it was very vague that they explained. Really, just the long hair is what they could match to Nico. Then they say that the guy they got a call about was in a cardboard box. And I know it's hard to see from the video, but all Nico has on him is what looks like a sleeping bag. Ortiz and Bradshaw tell Nico that he is being difficult and that he needs to identify because he's committing a crime. Yet they have not articulated exactly what crime it is that Nico is committing. At first, they confront him for being a disturbance. Then they try to morph that into Nico loitering. The loitering laws vary from state to state, but one thing remains consistent throughout the country. The only way loitering is a crime is defined by intent. That means if Nico is there just to crash for the night, it's technically only loitering if it's private property. Therefore, Nico is right here. So, you said Ortez, and what's your name? Basha. Basha, huh? Yeah. Okay. So you want me guys to call Mike John or Mike Johnson? I don't know. Are you a city council member? Oh, there's a lot. Of, that's a pretty common name. So yeah, no, you're a city council that's member. Do you guys want me to call him? Because I don't do anything illegal. I think you should call him later, right now. I can call him right now. No, we need your name. You do not need my name. Okay. I told you it was not Let's me. Do this. So leave me the alone. That's how that works. Okay. It was okay. not me. We're not You're working on a, a, an investigation, go do your job. Are you done? That's how it works. Are you done? You I know the laws. I study this. Reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime has been committed. Until then, I do not consent to unlawful searches and seizures. We're not searching or seizing, so calm down. Okay? Are you going to let me talk now? Yes or no? It's just me and respect, right? I'm not being rude to you, hmm. so don't be rude to me. Another thing is, all right, it's not you guys screaming and yelling, so be it, okay? If they call I, us- I, I, I can't you? yell. Okay. I have no voice. How do I yell? Leave me the alone. That's how it works. I'm just trying to You're causing a disturbance going. right here with me, ruining my peace, coming up to me, disturbing my day. I told you it wasn't me. Leave me the hell alone. I can't even fucking That's yell that loud. Sense, but this is what I'm saying, okay? Do you let me finish talking? Are you gonna let me? Your investigation's over. With me, finish? your investigation's over. Go carry your okay, investi investigation somewhere else. Quit talking to us. You quit talking to me. I don't have to. You don't have to respond back. Exactly. It's your choice, right? Exactly. Okay. So if we find out that neither one of you guys was involved in it, obviously, then we'll leave you alone. Like you said, if we find out that it is you who is trespassing on that property, we're going to have to come back, okay? Depending on what they want to do, it's up to them. Obviously, it depends on the employee because they're allowed to say like, hey, we don't want them. Oh, so this came talking. from the library? You don't want to talk to me, so don't talk to me, okay? This came from the library? Who, who did it come from then? Not uh, practice exercising my rights is not not being reasonable. Go, cool, cool. Don't walk in the street. Wear your seatbelt. Cause directives. Walk of shame, brother. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Right there. Ain't nobody was out yelling out here. I've been awake the last fucking 30 minutes. And that's how it's done, people. Nico sent these tyrants on their way, and they did the walk of shame. Good on him, too. See, while Nico may appear to not have much, he's rich in knowledge. Knowledge of your constitutional rights will always save you more often than not. Ortiz knew that Nico was right and he made her look stupid, even when Nico had to make it apparent that he could barely talk to them. So how could it be him that was supposedly screaming and causing a disturbance? In my opinion, from the first exchange of words, you can hear that Nico's voice was almost non-existent. That would deduce that it probably wasn't him yelling. Pair that with him not even being in a cardboard box, like the caller stated, and it's just common sense at that point to rule out Nico as their supposed suspect. Police have shown time and time again not to have common sense though, and lack any awareness of situations. Nico was obviously laying on the ground in a sleeping bag for a reason. 
so why mess with him further? Because police love to make their presence an inconvenience even to people who seemingly have nowhere to go. Big props to Nico for exercising his rights perfectly and for sending these tyrants away without identifying. Make sure you all head on over to Nico Waldron's channel, subscribe, and let him know San Joaquin Jr. sent you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. First Amendment rights, I'ma speak my mind. I don't care about how you feel, cause I'm living mine. Pay them tax dollars, I put in some overtime. I keep my camera rolling, I don't believe it was a crime. We caught watch, watch us hold them accountable, they ain't about nothing. Cause we be standing our ground and we is not running. And this is all real life, so learn a lot from it. God watch. God watch. God watch. God watch. God watch.